So you finished your problem set. Congratulations, you're all done. You're ready to submit, but guess what? There are a lot of you. In any given semester, I teach about 130 students, so it's really important that everything comes in looking exactly right and in the exact same format because it saves me a massive headache. So today we'll talk about exactly how you should export and prepare your projects for submission so that everything goes off without a hitch. In just a moment, we'll open up Eclipse and I'll show you the fairly specific settings that you need to use in order to export your project properly. This is a, a quick look at what it'll look like. Uh, this is only here in case you need to rewind or take a look at this slide to confirm that you're doing everything right. Likewise, it's really important that your files are all named properly. That includes using your CSID, your Dropbox pin, your first initial and last name, and the problem set number itself. But again, Let's take a look in Eclipse. So if you finished a problem set, it probably looks something like this. You've got your code, you've got your uh, problem set here in the package explorer. If we expand this and expand the source, you can see the package where your code is and you can see the .java file itself. The very first thing we're going to do is right click our project name, go to export. We'll expand general and we want to export to an archive file. We'll be exporting to a .zip archive. Click Next. Now we see the window where we're going to enter most of the relevant information. The first thing you should probably do is expand the project here on the left. So you can see, uh, I want to make sure that I can see everything in Source, in SRC. For Bin and Settings, we'll go ahead and uncheck those. And in fact, we'll uncheck Source as well. So you can see everything here ends up unchecked. The only things we're going to check here on the left-hand side of the window under source are our CSID folder, and then the problem set folder should automatically be selected after that. You'll see that these turn dark, but they're not actually selected. Class path and project will be selected here. Uh, you can uncheck those. Click the problem set folder, and then make sure that your .java files are selected here. That's how we can tell that they'll actually come in with your submission. Next thing we need to do is browse over to where we want to actually save the exported archive file. So now I've navigated to my simulated flash drive, and I'll actually click in the submissions folder. That's where I'd like to save this file. We'll enter in the file name that we'd like to use. That'll be our CSID, Dropbox pin, our first initial, last name, and finally the problem set number itself. Make sure it's saving as a zip. We'll click Save. Perfect. We should see it here. We're going to make sure that we're saving in zip format. We'll go ahead and compress the contents of the file, and we want to create only the selected directories. So make sure you have all those settings correct. Here, the only things that should be selected are the CSID folder on down. Make sure the code's here. Make sure the file path and the file name are correct. Zip format, compress, create only selected directories. Then go ahead and click Finish. If I now open up the Submissions folder in my flash drive, I should see the zip archive right there named exactly as I had hoped. Of course, we're not yet done. We need to go through the submission and make sure that it's actually properly formed. That means we have a zip archive containing one folder with your CSID, a single folder with the problem set number inside of that, and inside of that, you should see your .java files. Let's take a look to make sure that we just did it right. We've got our zip archive. If I open this up, great, I see a single folder with my CSID. Inside that, I see the problem set, PSO1, and inside that, madlibs.java. Perfect, this is done exactly right. The rest is cake. We go to the class drop it to me page, enter the class password, and then upload only that zip archive. Don't upload any loose .java files. Don't upload anything that's named incorrectly. Don't upload anything without your name. I get rid of all those things immediately. Make sure the only thing that you submit is the zip archive according to spec. And if you've done all that, you should be good to go.